Hello everybody, happy Friday. I hope everyone's doing well on this, uh, oh, it's a very sunny, hot week here. Staying inside, staying cool, not getting, uh, absolutely burnt to a crisp by the sun. <laughs> um, today on Mars, we're starting off with our regularly scheduled, uh, do all of the red circles that are on all of our plots. Uh, we start off usually with a feed all of our martisans because everybody is hungry. Hello, Kent. Hello, Cell Power. Welcome on in, everybody. How are people doing today? Um, yeah, so we usually start off by feeding all of our martisans and then trying to figure out who's going to work where, what skills we need to still work on. Um, our focus, as we've talked about in previous streams, is to get everybody leveled up to 25 electrical for all these people. Good evening, KP2E. Welcome on in. Um, we've still got a ways to go on a lot of them. So we're still following that training plan that we talked about in previous weeks where uh, if they're between 0 and level 5, then we're getting them charging power cell 1. And if they're level 5 to 15, then we're sending them off to do battery conditioning. And uh, once they're level 15, we can get them uh, doing... Oh, we need to turn off sound notifications for you stop 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 there we go <laughs> all right uh let's collect all the dusk okay it looks like only one was available today hello hello welcome welcome everybody um <clears throat> so we're uh we're gonna have a quick peek through all these who still needs training who's ready to go so claire's ready to level up so we'll throw a level on her um trying to get uh electrical leveled up here for everybody and so we can see that claire also needs a lot of experience um and is between levels five and 15 electrical which means that we're sending clara over to do battery conditioning so after level 5, this is going to be some of the best experience we can send her for. Hello, James. Welcome on in. Uh, where'd she go? There she is. No, this isn't her. Um, here? Yes. There we go. And I think she has enough stamina that we can get her doing this in all of our chem labs. Um, and we have a fair number of power cells kicking around because... We've been playing a little AFK for the last couple days, and we've let a lot of stuff build up in the settlement here. Um, we're sitting at a, a healthier amount of dusk than I think we were on the last stream, uh, which is a result of our... I think we opened a, a rare... I think we opened a rare something that we sold, a rare habitat maybe. Oh, we have a habitat! <laughs> we have a habitat to open on stream today, so that's exciting. Uh, I saw a new item. What's going on with Coil Spring? Oh, that, that would be news to me. Uh, I'd have to go hunt it down and uh, find out about it myself. 
Okay, so we have a bunch of libraries finishing up here. Uh, oh, right, we're doing seed studies, but today... Do we want to switch over to do exobiology? Or should we fire up some more seed studies? I mean, seed studies eventually going to be rotating out, so it's it feels important to get more of these in here. Um, and then how many more of those do we need? We have one, two... Though that's not... That's not them. That's not them. Oh, they're up here. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tasks, right? Twelve tasks. Three, six, uh, twelve. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go buy um, uh, life science to be able to do all the tasks. It's in the in-game marketplace. Okay. Well, we might go track it down and find out what we're talking about. Uh, so if we need twelve of these, we need thirty-six. Uh, 36 of the basic ones to get 12 of the apprentice ones. We need some greenhouse shards. So we need 12 of you, and we're going to pay 20... We're going to pay 5 each. And we need 12 of you, and we're going to pay 5 each. And then we can get all those tasks going. <clears throat> hey, everyone's showing up. Everyone's rolling in. We did start the stream a couple minutes early just to see who was hanging out, who was here, and who was on the ball. Power cells are back to life. Yeah, we, we just kind of saved them up for a couple days there instead of burning through them consistently. Um, I think we also had... We, we could definitely use Martisans for... Oh. oh, right, we forgot to make the apprentice research. That's why we don't have enough for that. Um, so once we get stuff restarted here, we definitely want to go dive into player-crafted buildings today. <clears throat> uh, Archson, welcome on in. I, Creator Man, welcome, welcome. All the first-time chatters, happy to have people in here. Um, so if you're new to the stream, we do a couple things here regularly. We try to roll Rusty Rigs so we can give away anything we win here. We, uh, answer every single question the players have in the chat. Um, and we try and fill, usually we try and fill orders if people are like, I'm looking for this item, can you please hook me up? And then, yeah, we try and help people out and give people what they're looking for. Um, we came in here to do some profession research. And then we, yeah, generally just teach people how to play the game and what to do. Um, one of the other things, yeah, so we're going to talk about player crafted buildings today. So, player crafted buildings, uh, the main thing you're going to need is minting tokens to get yourself started can't build any buildings without minting tokens um so you can acquire minting tokens through the uh let's put some more experience here these people already have like tons of life science experience maybe we could start loading it up on people who were lower down like here um so you need to buy minting tokens either through the min the nefty drops or you can buy them on the in-game marketplace. <clears throat> uh, we may dive into the patch notes, but today's main focus is going to be on player-crafted buildings. So we want to be able to teach people how to make all the buildings. Now that, you know, you can't buy... You can still buy your greenhouses and CADs and water filters and whatnot on um, Atomic Hub, but you won't always be able to, right? Um, call me trader. The RCOV pages are now finished. The competition is over, so while you could still do them, I think you would still get the option to uh, receive a Chapter 7 by completing them. Uh, the event itself has ended. Finally, using Martisans, I was able to make a shelter, pulled an uncommon, working on another. Hey, congratulations, Jeff. That's exciting. Yeah, more cocks. Uh, feeling a little bit better. Uh, for anyone who didn't know, we were feeling a little bit sick there earlier this week. Definitely doing a lot better today than we were earlier in the week, though. Uh, let's start dumping some life science on our high electrical um, martis in here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, now that the event is done, nobody wants page 8 anymore. Hope everybody cashed in all of their page 8s while the event was running strong there. That was some really good returns, hey? If you, uh, if all you did for, during that event was hunt for page 8 and sell it off to the players who were competing, you probably brought in bank. Uh, let's dump this one here. Anyone with, like, well over 27 stamina 
is kind of where I'm assigning these libraries right now. Um, just so it doesn't impact any of their training, so they still have a couple stamina kicking around. Uh, like here, right? Well, but at five, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll put it here. We have other people we need to train from 5 to 15 anyway. Um, yeah, so you want to go to the nefty, uh, to the nefty drops to pick up, uh, some minting tokens. Or you can buy your minting tokens on the marketplace. Uh, so after you've done that, if you're gonna build buildings, you're gonna need to head to, uh, an engineering bay for a vast majority of them. If you want water filter, greenhouse, CAD... Those are all in your uh, engineering bay. The 3D print shop houses your solar panels. So, some of the easier buildings. Uh, so, greenhouses or uh, water filters, 3D print shops, um, a number of the factories. 3D print shop, smelter, uh, chem lab, all of these you can just craft directly and so you can just click on them you can open it up and you can see exactly what it takes uh it's going to require machining levels which i'm assuming most people probably have not gotten yet uh but this is how you're going to create uh, a majority of buildings uh some of the higher level buildings some of the fancier buildings will require kits before you build them so a cad requires a cad kit as does um, a habitat, but you have to purchase a habitat kit from Million on Mars. Uh, I think you can get them in the Dusk Shop currently, Dusk uh, Supplies. Um, you can definitely get them in the Solana Shop as well. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, 2500 for a habitat kit. Uh, you can get them in the Solana Shop as well. And yeah, that's one of the main things. Gen 3 buildings require maintenance. So... Buzzking asks, why would people get Gen 3 land when it needs to be maintained compared to Gen 1 and Gen 2? Uh, supply. So, Gen 1 is definitely no longer being uh, minted or sold or anything. Um, with the exception of maybe people who are holding some deeds in their inventory or something. Uh, but people, uh, Gen 2 is mostly on the way out as well. It may be sold or claimed in some places, but it is generally also being phased out in favor of only Gen 3 being available. Gambled three times with the pages in the bazaar and got a library on the first try. Hey, congratulations. Yeah, so here's another thing if anyone wants to play around with the pages. Um, we did talk about this last week a fair bit. But I think um, rolling the pages hadn't been implemented just yet. But you can bring your pages in here and exchange three pages that you have kicking around uh, and attempt to roll, and you have a small chance of getting a library. Want to craft the habitat, but the fab level is terrible. Uh, so you can always uh, hire somebody to do that work. You could pay a journeyman fabricator to get that done for you. And fab 50... Yeah, fab, fabrication definitely sort of scales up. Once you get to five, and that seems to be the case for a lot of them, uh, we just got a page one. Oh, wait, wait, reveal page one. So if this is a uh, part one, page eight, we definitely uh, net a decent profit here. Let's grab page eight. Oh, it's not ready. Give us page eight. Ah, page one. <laughs> um... Hey, Babster, welcome on in. Hey, how, how is everyone? What are, what are people up to today? Uh, we're running around. We're just quickly resetting everything, and we're talking about player-crafted buildings while we do it. So uh, we're getting those crystals going. We usually use uh, our machining martisans. we got a few of them up at the top here. Really, I've dedicated three to machining. I think that's more than enough. Um, and the focus right now is getting all of them just leveled up to 20, to be able to do, uh, to make glass for us. Because smelting glass requires 20 machining. Uh, would you really had offloaded a page 8 to someone when the event had already finished? Uh, yes, but that's the way the market works. If you have market orders up for page 8, you should take them down. <laughs> Unless you don't have chapter, like, 
maybe people still have their buy orders up because they're looking for chapter seven. That's the, that is a reason to still finish the book right now. Um, I don't think we have charge power cell three. Okay, we have two tasks here to do. Um, yeah, and we want to fire through a bunch of these other ones. So we've got everybody doing at least charge, well, like a good majority of our Martisans are now doing charge power cell two. Um, and we had a whole ton who were, we were trying to level up from uh, five to 15. So what we're doing for those guys is hopping over to our chem labs and focusing on that. We set up an entire new plot full of chem labs just to try and get them leveled up. Where are we going? Down here. Um, so this is really good training for all these guys. Uh, just focusing on lower, you know, Martisans who are all level 5 to 15. And throwing as many of these battery conditioning um, recipes as we can on these guys. Uh, so... What player crafted buildings are other people looking to learn how to build? Is there anything you're digging into that you want a copy of? Driving home for safety. I'll be here in 30. Have a nice stream. Sounds good, Honey Badger. We'll see you then. Uh, got a library for three of my pages. Hey, congratulations. That's exciting. That's like a 5% chance or something. It's a solid payout. Because libraries are now, they're like 900 dusk, right? So, uh, if you can get lucky on your turn in for turning in three pages, I'd still be buying them up. Like, there's still really good chances if you're doing them in bulk. Uh, I think it was worth it if they're under, like, 40 dusk or something. Oh, we ran out of electrical tools. Uh, so we may have to go buy more of those. Machining XP. Uh, so machining XP is definitely one of the harder ones to get. Second at a training hall, missing a level. Uh, oh, we have a lot of electrical tools. Let's just go open some up. Um, but one of the best things you can do is head over to the Discord and pop open the EXP sheet. And uh, that'll actually give you a good idea of... The best tasks to do to get the most uh, bang for your buck. Yep, there you go. Dyson Man's got you. Uh, what tasks should we do with fabrication level 75? Um, <clears throat> at 75 fabrication, I think you're able to make engineering bay kits. Uh, which may also be in the 3D printer. Yeah, they're in the 3D printer. Uh, engineering Bay Kit. Ah, no, you got five levels to go. Then you could start making these guys. So that's what I would push. Get, get five more levels in fabrication. Get yourself up to 80. Start making these kits. And then you could pay... Uh, you connect with Ham or uh, Richie T. Also, find someone with 110 fabrication. But then you can put in the job and pay them the stamina, which is only five stamina, to start making your own engineering bays. You just have to hire out that last step of putting them together. But that's what I would do. This is what I'd be doing at uh, 80 Fabrication. Great little task. Um, and so, like you can see, it does take minting tokens to create uh, at both steps. You'd need 10 minting tokens per engineering bay to get it put together. You could also buy an engineering bay. Yeah, but this is the only way you're going to have a chance, right? Like, unless you want to spend 70,000 dusk on a mythic, uh, this is your chance to roll for high level. Like, yeah, there you go. Dyson Man's got the idea. So while you could just go and purchase one, this is how you get your chance at really high level buildings, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Um, okay, we will collect our habitat. I think on stream we're like four for five, four for four, four or five. I think we got one rare one time, but like 
We just, we only get commons on stream. It's kind of amusing, really. Do we complete it here, or do we complete all? Which button do we click? <laughs> Mythic will be a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> complete all but on the plot <laughs> I mean that's one way to do it uh yeah okay all right hello welcome welcome people strolling on in okay we'll complete all here I think we're also gonna get some empty batteries and some silicone crystals and so hopefully this guy is Rare or better would be great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think uncommon is break even. Uncommon costs roughly what you put into it, if I remember correctly. So that's that's pretty good. Oh, chapter eight stale starts soon. <laughs> Give the option to earn dusk for low-level players because almost nothing from building production is worth something. I mean, item to create product is more expensive than final product. Yes, you have to go find the recipes that are profitable. Uh, you can buy stuff on the market and hold it until it goes up in the future. So learning uh, sort of market predictions. Um, but Archson, some of the best advice I can give is join a guild where you have an active person leading that guild who is going to teach the players... Uh, some of the best ways to earn dusk and offer them like free buildings so that you can uh, price for recipe is expensive too yes so getting into uh, lots of tasks you're going to find that a lot of tasks are negative profit yeah there you I mean that's an easy one um, ice and regolith will probably go up once mining gates come into place um, Metis will probably go up because I think it's underpriced right now. It was like 10 or 15 in the past, and now it's dropped down to like 1 or something. Um, Halite will probably go up in the future because it is rock salt, and rock salt is, salt is used in cooking. Um, and cooking is a skill that's coming out in the future. Uh, just a lot of stuff like that, like, you don't have to earn all your dusk in the game just from tiny profit margins where you're trying to eke out the difference doing a bunch of tasks, right? You make a, you make small amounts of dusk that way. There's not a lot of... The amount of tasks with massive profit margins don't really exist anymore. There's not there's no one task anyone's running that earns you like 100, da, 100 dusk per day per task, right? Profession level is high to make something worth... Uh, yeah, I mean, the higher your profession level, the better tasks you have access to. Trying to do a cheesy army, for some reason I couldn't join because there's a settlement cooldown. Uh, Scrawn, you should just shoot an email to support and ask them to reset your settlement cooldown, and they should. Aqua Ares profit reveal. Yeah, if we have an Aqua Ares sitting here, this is my... This is... I would recommend this task to everybody right now. Because... With an earning potential of 20,000 dusk on a, on a really lucky hit, like, this is the task to be doing. Whatever these inputs cost, I think it's maybe somewhere in this range. So, you're you're close to break even, and if you're a lucky person, then you're generally going to earn a bunch. I do my best to earn a few dusk, clear profit, but it's slow, and I know hard high margin tasks is expensive. Yep, yep, it's just going to be slow going if you're a brand new player without access to a whole lot. Uh, okay, we're gonna complete all here. Uh, I mean, anything over a thousand is probably huge profit. Seven tasks at about one, fifth, three, six, nine. Yeah, anything over a thousand, we probably come out on top. I think this probably costs us about a thousand to run. Oh, okay, we hit the floor. <laughs> Go again. Oh, we need a bunch more paper. Okay, let's buy, like, a ton of paper. But, anyone who tuned in before, we, we hit uh, 7,000 on this, like, not that long ago. So, uh, let's just buy, like, 500 paper for five each. We're just going to need a bunch of paper sitting around anyway. 
Fabrication level up fast, any tips? Uh, so one of the easiest ways to do it incredibly quickly but is very expensive is to um, go to Gen 3 CADs that people had sitting around and uh, repair those CADs for people, uh, which we'll show you on stream here in just a second. So uh, you, for example, you go here, uh, you come to this CAD which has stuff to repair, and if you repair structural integrity, you can get uh, a whole bunch of fabrication experience by doing this. However, this is going to be pretty expensive. Uh, this is mainly for people who want to do this one, right? Where you get massive amounts of fab XP just to go from like 10 to 25 or so. Um, a cheaper way to do it, but it's going to take, it's going to be a lot slower is in a 3D print shop, you could go and you could make novice fabrication tools. It doesn't require any level, gives a decent amount of XP, but it does take a long time. Um, but making a bunch of these, you're going to need them anyway if you're trying to level up your fabrication. So you might as well build them yourself and get all the experience on the way up. I have a building like Smelter, 3D Print Shop, CAD, SAB, and now it's worth to do methane and filter water or something from library. So yeah, the library tasks are generally worth it. The long time period makes them productive. Um, I mean, if you have a smelter, just start making silicon crystals. These have no input requirement. They're dirt cheap to put together. And when you get crystals out, these crystals are worth way more than the inputs. It's just time that you're putting into these, right? Um, I'm enjoying making tools. Yeah, making tools is a fantastic way to gain experience. Um, and like you'll see basically all of my smelters are always running silicon crystal. It's just a slow task, but um, the not having a level requirement is fantastic. And you need a ton of silicon crystals to do anything with solar panels if you need to make like electrical grade silicon. Uh, what else do we do? We can throw some people in here. Do do do. Um, yeah, so any other player crafted buildings that people were curious about? Uh, I wonder if we could probably sell that um, uncommon habitat if anyone's interested. 4300 is probably roughly what we put into it. I just, I don't need more habitats. Um, and the way that mine are laid out right now helps me figure out where things are in the settlement. And if I start, if I cover the whole thing in habitats, then it doesn't help me figure out where things are. <laughs> Watch the mining update add mining levels for those crystals. Yep, yeah, that, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if you required, like, five mining or something for it, or who knows, 25 mining. I don't know how valuable they deem that task, right? We'll, we'll just list this on the market for, like, 4,000. Give someone a deal if anyone wants to pick it up. Unless there's already, yeah, okay, that, that's there for 4,000 if somebody really wants a habitat. Um, making epic solar panel shards since a couple of days, and I love the silicon, loving it. Yeah. I mean, the, I don't know if we're still making any over here, but, uh, where's electrical grade? Yeah, down at the bottom here. This task is also great for chemistry experience. So you turn a bunch of these crystals, uh, you put in four of them, and you get back, you have a chance to get back some of the ones that you put in, and you turn it into electrical grade silicon, which is great. But unfortunately, all of our um, all of our chem labs are definitely occupied with leveling up people's electrical with battery conditioning. Hab kit is selling for less. Uh, it's on the shop. Yeah, but a, a hab kit is like one component of a thing. Oh, did our music? I think the end of uh, the one song. I think it's Interstellar. Interstellar just has such a long uh, finish to it. Uh, yes, you, yes. Aqua Aries also earns fabrication experience. There you go, yeah. I have a question. Uh, I have three Martisans. I'm in a settlement for another person, but I can't put Martisans in the habitats. Only, I can only do it in your own habitat. Yes, you have to put your Martisans in your own habitat. You cannot put them in the settlement's habitats. Um, you could also buy a shelter for your Martisans. A shelter is going to be much cheaper than uh, habitats to house them. Ah, oh, yeah, we got people doing 
Calibrate power inverter, finally. There's a lot of them that took a long time to get to that point. Um, and then we have a lot of artisans way down at the bottom who are still not five electrical, so we need to do power cell one with all these people who are down here at four still, right? So we gotta get them up to five in order to stick them in the chem labs. Um, but yeah, so uh, player crafted buildings. I think we've talked about a bunch of them. We've looked at the water filter, greenhouse, CAD, those are all in your engineering bay. Um, uh, in the past, we've looked at habitats a fair bit. Um, we haven't talked that much about Meta's Shield. So I guess Meta's Shield is definitely one we could go have a look at. Hey, Marinko. Hey, Tariki. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have everyone. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're actually keeping up with power cell production, which I'm pretty impressed with. Um, we just need to dump a little bit here ourselves because we're at max stamina and I know we have uh, all of our eating to do for today. So we'll hop over here and do all this. Um, if you're someone who's much more concerned and you want a lot more stamina on a regular basis, everybody should be trying to make mushroom cakes and tea and really maxing out how much stamina you're gaining um, to help get your own experience levels up. I have uh, so many Martisans that I'm not as concerned with my own stamina. I'm, I'm so focused on getting all of them leveled up that I'm not worried about making mushroom take cakes and tea right now. But um, generally, I would advise people to be making mushroom take cakes and tea and eating them. <coughs> oh, there you go. <clears throat> have we done our chapter claims today? We have not. <coughs> Excuse me. So, everyone should be completing all their chapters on a daily basis. Make sure you hop in here, get all your free research papers from each of the chapters that you own. One of the best things that you can do, it is free research papers, everybody. Go get your research papers, so valuable. Maybe a tea shop would be a good giveaway. Yeah, given that we're talking about Aqua Aries and how good it is, we could we could probably swing a tea shop. I'm sure we could afford uh, throwing one into the giveaway. Uh, there should be a claim all research paper. Uh, yeah, I think some people have talked about that, but I think also, just so everyone's aware, those research papers being available per chapter is not a permanent feature. So claim them while you can before that feature goes away. This is your heads up now that that feature is eventually going to go away. Um, yeah, that was, I mean, that was mentioned as soon as they were giving them out in the first place. Uh, it was just to sort of keep up with the demand of the amount of research papers needed. What is the purpose after that feature goes away? Uh, to read the chapters. That's why they're there. Yeah. Uh, so if anyone hasn't read through all the chapters and you're, you're really just doing it to claim your papers, I mean, that's fine. But also, there are spoilers and heads up on, like... So... Just, I mean, here's a, a previous example. So spoilers, if you haven't read chapter one, spoilers, big flashing thing, don't, if you haven't read chapter one, just mute the stream for like a minute. I'll give you a big thumbs up and wave when we're back. So chapter one comes out. Um, a bunch of people read chapter one. A bunch of people just get it and claim their research paper and just sort of ignore it, right? Um, and then in chapter one, it talks about Metis and Metis shields before Metis was even in the game. It wasn't a thing that even existed. Maybe, I, actually, I think you could get, like, small amounts from scavenging. And because it didn't have a purpose at that time, people were selling it for very, very cheap. People didn't care about it. But it so many spoilers, so many heads up on Metis was going to be needed for a lot of recipes, a lot of things, the Metis shield... Um, those were all in that first chapter, right? And so the players who had that foresight and read that chapter and were thinking ahead, a lot of people stockpiled a bunch of Metis for super cheap. Then the game, all the things came into the game where Metis shot up right to like 5 or 10 when people were buying it for 0.1. So that happens for all the chapters that come out. 
read the chapters, find out what's coming, and buy things based on that. It's, it's like great future insight. <laughs> anyway, that's my little spiel on um, why you should be reading the chapters. Finally completed all the chapters? Nice. Forcing us to do your own research? Yeah. Well, it's rewarding the people who do, right? And and you can see that. Those are the people who are getting paid out. Um, you're The people who do the best in the game are the ones who are, like, reading, paying attention. Um, you're, you're getting a feel from the updates on what's coming next just by listening to what Mitch and Eric are saying. Uh, and all that stuff gets you ahead. Ba -da -da -dum, ba -dum. Sorry, I missed a couple of questions here. Um, Meta shield will be upgradable to a higher rarity shield or with shards. Uh, so, Korea, I think that the way that it is intended to work is that you can place a higher rarity shield on top of a lower rarity shield. And the lower rarity shield would just be destroyed and maybe you'd get some p bits and pieces back or something. Repairing broken power cells is currently getting more and more... Uh, interesting because empties have gone up again and it can be done from level 1 to level up electrical. This is currently negative, but it will quickly become neutral or positive if the empty ones get a bit more expensive. Yeah, I mean, all I've been doing is stockpiling empties because I'm not selling them at this, like, super low price, right? Feels bad. Uh, we can get a bit more experience on these lower level martisans. Any idea when rocket fuel goes out? Well, see, like, that's another thing, right? So say we have a future where we're going to have rocket fuel put into the game in order to go to uh, Demos or Phobos, the moons of Mars, right? Um, maybe something that you might want to consider is looking into, like, what materials go into rocket fuel and then purchasing those inputs, right? If it requires soil, then you go and you buy a bunch of soil in preparation. It doesn't, but I, I'm, you know, go do your own research. <laughs> I, <laughs> though, the first person to build a soil-based rocket fuel, I'm sure, will be uh, a very rich person. <laughs> Here's my soil... Soil-powered rocket. <laughs> no, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, okay, we can't get Maeve doing that many tasks. We can get her doing five. What up? Welcome, welcome. Now, rocket fuels powered by waste isn't as much of a stretch. There's some value yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, anything we can know about copper springs and steel gears and steel springs? Uh, I do not have info on that, um, but I assume that's people who are doing some digging in the marketplace and finding items that weren't there before, right? Because that's how we found out about, like, large ores, uh, which were in the marketplace briefly, but then didn't actually have a purpose. Sunflower oil, I think, is a really good bet on if you think that cooking is going to require a ton of oil, then sunflower oil would be a great purchase, right? Now you think waste is going to pump? Yeah, you think waste is going into all the rockets? Uh, what did I miss? Did the term, did the team nerf the empty cell chance on advanced scavenging? Uh, potentially. There's definitely an overabundance of empty cells right now. And they may be tweaking stuff in response to that. But usually that kind of stuff is announced. I think Mitch would usually say something about it if those recipes were getting changed. Um, okay, let's get these last couple done. Do, do, do. Um, I don't think we have anybody to level up. Oh, we were going to level up our own. Um, so I've been really pushing to get high level fabrication. Obviously, these papers are incredibly expensive and it's a long journey up there, but I'm trying to get to 110 so that I can help out anybody who wants uh high level engineering bay stuff done for them right like we said earlier if you're somebody who has 80 fabrication which you can get without specializing you still need someone with 110 to make your engineering bay for you 
So I, I think it's the one I might specialize in just to help out the guild. It's still a bit of a climb, and I think I might actually need more experience for it as well. Oh, are these libraries empty? No, these have power. Cheese Oasis, what are you doing? There's empty libraries here. Um, looks like people are making paper and tools in all of our print shops. Instead of lowering the chance of item drops, make it a task in the cantina that uses them and burns them. Um, I think we had that in the past. Uh, cantinas, what are we currently running? Summer Scrap Collection. Really expensive getting to 110? Yeah, but I try to be, you know, the helpful head of the guild that, uh, has the skills that people need if they're looking for something to be made for them, right? Any idea when Martisans can use rentals? I don't know if that's an intended feature or not. I'm not sure if that's even, uh, something that will be done. But it probably also isn't a super high priority. Uh, just like there's a lot of other things that need to be tackled first, right? And you can use Martisans on all your own buildings at this time. Yeah, like all of these, everything has power. Should we be leveling up libraries for people? Do people want higher level libraries? What level library do you need to gain two task slots? Uh, that happens at level four. Three? Three? No, four. Yeah, has to go to level four. Um, Omerta, a lot of the buildings that we have now are all guild only. Just, we have so many people in the guild. Uh, it wasn't doing the guild any favors to let the public continue to rent our buildings. So we made a lot of things private. Um, the artifact plot, these ones remain public, so pretty much like one of every building if people really want to come and look for anything in particular. But, uh, highly encourage people to seek out a guild that, you know, fits with their play style. Um, find like-minded people, and, uh, you know, find people that you enjoy hanging out with. Like, for us, uh... Friday evening movie night is always a fun one. Uh, the last couple weeks we've been watching comedies. Maybe tonight, instead of movies, we'll play some games. We've been talking about playing board games together on, like, Tabletop Simulator for a little while, too. So, like, find a guild that's fun to hang out with. Like, <laughs> don't make uh, the thing that you do in your spare time for fun. So, playing Million on Mars or doing your research or whatever. Don't make that m an extra job. Like, <laughs> have fun with the thing you're doing in your spare time, right? Are the Epic Plus Meta Shield recipes not out there yet? Um, I haven't dug into acquiring the higher level recipes. I believe it is still just common and rare. Um, but I actually, I haven't done a lot of it myself because I already have a ton of space in all my plots. So I haven't really bothered uh, with those at this time. But we can look at the recipes and at least talk about, like, what you need to do them. That would be a useful uh, thing to go have a look at. Um, what else? We need to... Let me just finish up this plot real quick with a bunch of people with 22. Anyone with 22 stamina. Also, just, like, a huge shout-out to the team for how much snappier the game is, right? Like, how instantly we're flying through all these tasks, assigning people, getting stuff done... Like, I don't know. At, at least, so, I, I have never had too much of an issue with lag. Like, it, it's on and off, but it's never been, like, really, really bad or anything to the point where, like, the game's unplayable. But the speed at which stuff is completing and running and claiming and, and doing everything right now, I think is pretty impressive. Rare is the only recipe out there. Yeah, I think everyone has common by default. Um... Let's throw you here. I only got fab level two. What's the best way to increase it? Uh, so we were talking about this a little bit earlier, but make fabrication tools in a 3D printer is going to be your best bet because you're going to need those tools later anyway uh, if you're going to continue leveling up your fabrication. So it's a great way to get started. Um... Yeah, okay, so we're going to look at the Meta Shield recipes. Where's our engineering bay? Here we go. Um, 
So common meta shield. So yeah, the, these are going to require minting tokens as well. They also need really high fabrication levels. So the people who are pumping out rare meta shields are all 100 fabrication. Can you buy this recipe? If you can, I really should go pick up a copy. Um, I'm bad at this kind of thing. Uh, meta shield? Epic meta shield. Oh yeah, okay, these aren't for sale yet. But like 300 for a rare? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take one. <laughs> Uncommon's not out yet. Um, we've got a pile of metis. Oh yeah, okay, so halite. Uh, yeah, this is still so underpriced. Like, I have numbers in mind for what I think rock salt is going to be worth after cooking comes out. And my guess is between 0.5 and 1. That's total speculation and just my personal guess. So I just, I've been buying hordes of this because this is so cheap. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, no problem. I have a mining master level 100. Should I primarily use for all mining moving forward? Not looking for a concrete answer, just thoughts. Um, I think at 100, you're already probably able to do everything that you need to. So if you need more stamina just to sort of disperse into other skills, like if you need, if your solar panels aren't at all getting charged or you're finding that you need more nitrogen, you could level them up to 50 chemistry. I don't think going over 100 mining is going to be beneficial in the near, near term. Um, but I could be wrong on that one, right? Right now, mining doesn't matter at all. There's no level at which you unlock anything for mining. Maybe when the gates come into place, all of the things that matter are from like 0 to 100 and 100 is your like higher, higher rarity stuff, sort of like when fabrication was rolling out. I can't imagine you need much more than a hundred for anything. Uh, oh, oh yeah, Moorcox has a good point. Research papers might be a good thing to focus on. Because right now, mining is dirt cheap because... Ha, mining and dirt. Um, if you use it to pump out papers right now, which are pretty cheap, once everybody wants to get that mining level up because nobody's really focused on it because XP is hard to come by, if you have the hoard of papers at that time because you've been doing all that high-level research, you probably turn a pretty good profit doing that. Yeah, Omerta, so with the high level of changes and the rate of change of development of the game, this is why I recommend hopping into a guild where instead of having to learn everything yourself all the time, you have a collective group of people where Maybe one person knows everything there is about solar panels and how they work and what the paths are and how to build them and everything like that. Um, and I'd compare it to... I mean, I, I don't really want to make comparisons to other games, but uh, like in the past playing, say, uh, like anything with really complicated tech trees and really like... I think EVE Online maybe has like a million different paths, right? Where you can specialize in a ton of different things and you can go down all these different tech trees. Um, and there's no one person who knows how to do every single thing as well as you possibly can because everybody's specialized in their own thing, right? This is the same thing. You don't have to know everything. That's not the point. <laughs> um... Okay, we have a little bit more to go on these two, so let's dump some X or some stamina into this. And some stamina into you. No, you're already 25. 21. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hello, hello, welcome on in. Mining papers have gone from 20 to 30 since the gates got announced, so it's super worth it. Yeah, of course. Uh, needing to level up library to 7, but probably not immediately. Yeah, well, if you have your level 100, uh, mining Martisan, you definitely want to get access to the highest level task, right? Uh, founder token loot is always on Fridays. However, the exact time is sort of whenever the team gets to it. So, like, you could ping people in Discord and, and ask them to get it done. But, uh, they're usually pretty good about getting it done by, I don't know, in the next couple hours or so. Yeah, afternoon U.S. time is sort of the rough, uh, rough guess. Do we have a lot of empty solars somewhere? 
It feels like we do. Um, let's just dump a little bit more into some of these. First time watching on my phone, it's really hard. Welcome, Celebration. Happy to have you. Um, I didn't... Yeah, I haven't really messed around too much with Steam... Or Steam. Uh, Twitch on, uh, on a cell phone. Sounds like a tough time, though. Okay, we have a ton of stamina. We definitely don't have enough to fill up all of these, but I think we'll just dump some of our stamina into Charge Power Cell 3 on all these uh, rare solar panels that we got kicking around here. Um, we could also probably... Maybe eventually we'll start... Uh, once all of our Martisans are trained up, we'll start giving some of these panels back to the uh, community. Oh, we did have enough stamina to do them all. Ah, that's a good one. Um, has anyone tried the uh, the Steam game for Million on Mars? Uh, personally, no, I haven't. Uh, but it's mostly because I don't have time, not because I'm not interested. It seems really cool. I'd love to give it a spin sometime. Ah, so it looks like all of our... Maybe all of our fours are up to five now. That would be pretty rad. Ah, uh, today does have to be a relatively short stream. It will be an hour long. Um, so we, oh man, we got to do some more, uh, rusty rigs for sure. And maybe we'll go dig. I think we said we might give away a tea shop today. We'll see. Or we could just win rusty rigs. I also click rusty rigs like off stream. <laughs> so we have a very low win percent. I've, uh, I haven't won off stream in a really long time either. Okay, so it looks like we did get everyone to five electrical, I think. Which is great. Ah, except you. Okay. Oh no, you're out of stamina. Awesome, okay. That's good news, I think. I think that's everybody up to five electrical. Um, which was our main goal for a little while here. Oh, we can level up uh, Velma as well. Velma looks like she needs some electrical levels. There you go. Might need to get some more papers here in a minute too. Did I hear tea shop? I need to get into that waffle today. Haven't bought one yet. Yeah. What happens to founder token loot after November, the 52 weeks of the game? Will loot drops continue? So, scrat, scrat, chus, scratch us, scratch us. Uh, scratches. After the regular loot drops are done, so we're getting sort of these packs that we have for 52 weeks. Um, after that, Glitter is going to be released. Or maybe in conjunction, or whenever it happens, right? And, uh, Glitter is the, uh, governance token for Million on Mars. It's the thing that will allow you to vote on the direction of the game. It will also be used in um, some recipe, re some recipes, likely replacing minting tokens in a lot of instances. Um, minting tokens are meant to mint an item from your inventory out into Atomic Hub or wherever, into your Wax Wallet, uh, where glitter is going to be used in-game for some of the crafting things, I believe is what was spoken about. Uh, and Founder Tokens will be getting 100 glitter per week, per token. Uh, so 500 and, no, 5,200 glitter, or something like that. And I believe glitter on launch was estimated to have a value of about 10 cents. So over the course of the life of the glitter drops, your founder token is still worth another 520-ish. Um, yeah, so. Uh, incredibly underpriced on the market right now if anyone has had a chance to look at uh, founder price tokens, which makes me laugh. It feels like those people don't know about glitter. Uh, if people aren't in the loop, I guess. Oh, we need more electrical research. That's why everyone's showing up as, uh, as not able to be trained. Uh, I bought a land and it said T-Shop on it. When I synced the plot, it wasn't there. I opened a ticket, but they never responded. Ah, that's a tough time, Jeff. Uh, it might just be a delay. On people getting back to you, but you could, <coughs> you can follow up on that ticket as well, right? All right, let's buy like another hundred of these for twenty each. Need a bunch more uh, electrical research. Founder droop, founder loot drop time is usually in the afternoon on Fridays, so 
you know, in the next couple hours or so. Uh, yeah, there you go. Morcox has the white paper with a bunch of info relating to what we're talking about right now. Ah, okay, okay. How many Martisans do you have right now? Uh, I currently have 30. I had 31. Uh, but I, it was too many to manage. I'm already struggling. Like, look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's still 8 people that are only level 5. I'm trying to get everyone to 25 electrical, which isn't even, like, a high bar. But it's taken us a long time to get there. Um, I think... Some of these people still need training as well, yeah. Hello, Headless Raven. Managing 30 is easy, come on now. Oh boy. Getting all their training done, I think, is the hard part. Like, managing all the stamina isn't too bad, because you can dump it in. Send me some Martisans. <laughs> so, I was actually open to selling, like, a batch of 10 of them, who all have 25 electrical, if someone wanted, like, a, ton a massive stamina boost, right? Um, oh yeah, it was an offer that we had thrown out there. Okay, let's let's start looking at, like, uh, we, do, we don't have Surveyor Coins anymore. We just don't have these coming in. Um, so we haven't been picking up stuff there. Uh, resource credits? We still have a few resource credits, but I don't know that there's anything we could pick up here that we would want to give away. Uh, we could do a factory pack. Solar panel packs are always sold out. If you sell a Martisan with upgraded, with all the knowledge... Yes, so they were they have all their skills as they get transferred from person to person. A Polar Workshop. I don't think we have a Polar Workshop pack in the resource credits. Uh, do we have one in the Dusk Works supplies? Oh, we do. Well, we could give one of these away. What do people want more? Uh, oh, tea shop is sold out. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which one you want more. <laughs> there are no tea shops to give away. We will roll this polar workshop, and if it is a mythic, I will keep it. If it is legendary or lower, I will give it away to whoever wins it. Going all the way up to legendary for people today. Uh, so that's a, you know, that 2%, oh boy. Also, if we hit a mythic, I'll roll again and I'll give away a different one. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Pull a workshop for somebody. 2% is the best. That's why they leave it. That's <laughs> in the milk. Nice. Alright. Pull a workshop for somebody here. And... Oh. Oh, that's how that works. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, uh-huh. I forgot we buy things in packs now. Uh, where's our packs? It's down on the bottom somewhere. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, rare meta shield. Yeah, we want to research that. Good, good. Yeah, that's awkward. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> Opening our pack. There's your breakdown percentage. Yeah, I still own your DTM. It's in my inventory. It's kind of funny. All right. And Polar Workshop. Let's go. That's pretty good. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. What an exciting giveaway for today. All right. Oh, boy. Someone's getting hooked up with some swag. Epic Polar Workshop. That's not bad. That's pretty swanky. Uh, what else do we have we can give away? We have a common engineering bay. Do people want a, a common engineering bay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Sweet. We'll throw it in as well. Uh, 
Uh, we'd give away a chapter, but I don't think I have spare copies. And I don't really have a way to do it right now. Um, and... We don't have... These are supposed to be able to be spent somewhere else. These, like... Winning whatever... Mitch said that we could spend them on something that isn't the chapter. This... And I don't need a chapter, right? Oh! More Cox... More Cox is gonna throw a chapter in here to give away? This is me. Uh, can buy Elon with his million on Mars stuff? No! We're, we're actually hoping that Elon wants to buy uh, our stuff, his namesake. It gives you a library when you turn it in the second time. Oh, interesting. I mean, I guess we could do that. Uh, we already have a pile of libraries kind of sitting around, though. Yeah, we're, we're hoping that uh, someday Elon wants to buy his namesake, uh, Leon Dusk's Super Straw. That's the dream. Hmm, okay. Mora Cox is donating a chapter something. All right, setting up our giveaway. Got to fire through this really quick because uh, we got to get going in about three minutes. Uh, let's get this set up. Yes. Yes, go, yes. Uh, cloud this giveaway. Uh, that's fine. Add custom giveaway. Three minutes. Yeah, everyone's going hard. All right, if you tried to raffle prior to the start, uh, you, you're, uh, your timer's been timed out by four minutes, so your name won't end up in the raffle if you're, if you're going too early. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> ah, first time chatters. Wait, what was that guy from last week? Dragon's Valley. <laughs> yeah, see, if you're a first-time chatter and the only thing you've said is you've shown up and you did exclamation mark raffle, eh, you, you're not someone that we're going to be giving away the, the win to. <laughs> All right. Epic Polar Workshop. Common eBay. Let's do these in a different order. Let's do Common eBay. Epic Polar Workshop. Dragon's Valley 69. Uh, Epic Polar Workshop and a chapter. All right. Bum -ba. Okay, let's get this thing done. Boop. Exclamation mark raffle puts your name in the draw with a chance to win. You do have to be following the channel in order to win. And just a minor thing, but you have to be a real person or a person who hangs out. We know that you actually are a regular viewer and you're someone who cares about the stream and the community and you're here to actively engage and uh, not just throw your name in the raffle every week. So many raffle people timed out. <laughs> yep, going too early. Oh, we have a pile of novice research. That's good. So that we could... We could get some more levels off of that if we need to. You know what? We should be selling off some more seeds, I think. Coffee seed? Yeah, like we have a pile of these we could be selling for like five each. Got a pile of carrot seeds. We could be selling for three each. We've got a pile of soy seeds. We could be selling for like 10 each. Those will all sell at the floor easily. Yeah, those are all gone immediately. We probably got more than we were asking. A couple thousand dusk. Oh, oh boy, soy seeds though. All right, picked up a little bit of dusk there. Ended the stream about as much dusk as we had when we started. 
uh, by selling off the seeds that we're making from Epic Seed Studies. So yeah, you do have to be following the channel. Um, you can't be someone who's like just showing up for raffles every week. Buy my expert fabrication? Yeah, we might be able to do that. Uh, let's see. This is another half hour. So we're not going to worry about that too much. Up, 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 um. Mm -hmm. All right, you got about one minute left to get your name into the raffle. Um, we'll draw things in order. Epic Polar Workshop and a something and a something. Epic Polar Workshop and a common engineering bay and a chapter, whichever chapter. Try to get my fabrication up. Uh, we're not going to worry about this. We're going to do this. Boop, boop. There you go. We're giving away chapter four. Got my first accommodation started today. What should I get in your opinion? Um, that's a tough one. I haven't looked at the accommodations in a while. I just continually spend mine on whatever I need. Oh, yeah, right. Like, I just dumped mine into the RCOV because I really wanted uh, this guy. But this was, in retrospect, a massive mistake. This was the worst thing I could have spent this on. Because part four was super easy to get. But on day one, uh, it was said that this would be difficult. I I think this should be refunded to anyone who spent an entire accommodation on it. Like, these uh, 32 people, these 32 people were penalized hard. <laughs> what we do on day one. Yep. Yeah, brutal for all those people. Um, however, what will you actually spend it on? Um, I don't think a research pack. Maybe training hall and library is like one of the best investments right now if you're looking at leveling yourself up. But instead of this, I would join a settlement that just offers you these for cheap. And then maybe save up for a land or a solar panel. Yeah, land or a solar panel is probably your best bet. If you're doing everything by yourself, training hall and library is probably your best bet. Check your new settlement requests. Oh yeah, for sure. We can absolutely... Uh, we tell people to ping us in the Discord because I, it's hard to consistently come in here and check. I don't get a notification or anything. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. Uh, they just announce when they restock it. You just keep an eye out. Uh, 300 plus profits if you dismantle. Yeah, exactly. You could dismantle the library and the training hall and just sell off the shards if you want. Going for 80 rations. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Training hall and library is great either if you want to just sell them off for dusk or if you're looking to uh, have your own training hall so you don't have to keep renting them from people and your own library so you don't have to fight for them. However, in my settlement, it does seem like libraries are now, they're open most of the time. Like, okay, maybe not here. We have a bunch more to throw down for people as well. So yeah, last uh, last 30 seconds here, exclamation mark raffle, put your name in the draw with a chance to win uh, Epic Polar Workshop, Common eBay, and Chapter 4. Um, You do have to be following the channel to win. And we like it to go to regular viewers. <laughs> um, do we have a bunch of kits already? Oh, we can make uh, mining kits now. That's cool. Uh, maybe we should do some of those. Build some mining rigs. I think engineering bays we'd be better off building, but... We'll do some digging here, and maybe we'll get into building engineering bays in the next little bit. It just takes so many less minting tokens to make an engineering bay than it does to make a mining rig. Yeah. I don't know. Mining rigs feel like they need a... Uh, they're, they're in a weird place right now, right? Anyway. Uh, let's go over here. It feels like time's running slower on this thing for whatever reason. 
Has it really only been like a minute? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, 10 seconds left. <laughs> It's exclamation mark raffle to join the raffle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we'll be picking our winners. Uh, what are we giving away first? We are giving away, we'll give away chapter four to the first winner. Chapter four is going to, chapter four is four. Blind Wrath, are you here? Blind Wrath, congratulations, you have won chapter four. Drop your wax address in the chat. Say hello. Let us know if you're someone who's here all the time. Are you a regular viewer? Hey, been here since May. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I enjoy that some of your previous things are like, this is me interacting with the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah, you're, that's great. You got a great chat history. I enjoy that. Um, yeah, perfect. You know what's up. Drop your wax address. We'll get that sent over. Uh, I'll send that right away. All right, congratulations, and thank you so much for tuning in. And next prize, we are giving a... Common Engineering Bay. Common Engineering Bay. Going out to Vonsfield. Congratulations, Vonsfield. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, nice. Ah, okay, yeah. Bonsfield, someone who swung in here um, back in August, came from Noobs on Mars. Congratulations. Uh, drop your wax address in the chat. Let us know what your favorite crafting loop is. What have you been doing on Mars? Bunsfield, what do you enjoy on Million on Mars? What things do you do for fun? Favorite, favorite crafting loop. What do you like doing? <laughs> Early miner, interesting. I mean, mining is a good one to start leveling up now, anyway, with all the restrictions and things that are coming. All right. Last giveaway, Epic Polar Workshop will be going to All right. Yeah, okay. I hit complete. Uh, it's going to be one of those days. All right, you have one minute. <laughs> one minute to get your name in for just Polar Workshop. Exclamation mark raffle puts your name in the draw. You have to be following the channel. We're just checking if people are tuned in. We're making sure the people who are here are actually here. <laughs> All right, 40 seconds. Get your names in if you want to win.
<laughs> That's how we know it's a good stream. Yeah. Really just checking if people are here. <laughs> they really they need to move those buttons to different sides of the page. They're right next to each other. Complete and pick a winner are just adjacent and they're the same color. It's not good not good uh, UI design. All right, exclamation mark Ravel, put your name in the draw. How do we follow the channel? Like for it to be regular viewers and people who are engaged in here in the chat. All right. No, nah, no, nah, we got it. It's fine. We already gave it away. All right, last thing. Epic Polar Workshop is being given away to Macintosh, Mackie, Mackie N. Tosh, 0 to 1. Congratulations. Say hi for here. Congratulations, Mackie N. Tosh. Uh, drop a hello in the chat. Tell us what you like about Mars. Say hi. But uh, we, we got a jet here pretty quick. Let's let's wrap it up, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Hi. Wait, no, that's not you. Why isn't... Why? I have no chat coming. That's odd. Hmm... For whatever reason, you're not coming up in my stream labs, but I mean, it's you. Hi. <laughs> uh, drop your wax address in the chat, and uh, we'll get that sent over your way. Tell us your favorite thing on Mars right now. What do you like doing? <laughs> yes. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> drop your wax address. Tell us what you like doing on Mars. What are your favorite crafting loops? What do you enjoy about the game right now? And, uh, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Hope you learned a little bit about player-crafted buildings today. That's what we were trying to focus on. Yeah, that's great. Drop drop your drop your uh, wax address so we can get that uh, epic polar workshop sent your way. And, uh... Can we repeat everything? Yeah, just go through the whole thing again. Um, only got two lands at the moment. That's okay. You can find a place for your uh, polar workshop eventually. No big deal. So everyone wants to check out the YouTube. If you're a new player and you're looking for things to do and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, and if you're someone who's looking to join the community, trying to team up with everybody and uh, get more information, uh, the Discord's probably the best place to go hang out. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, short stream today. We got places to go and things to do. I was supposed to be somewhere 15 minutes ago. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll catch you over on the Discord in a little bit. And, uh, oh, the settlement's not cut in half. There's somebody else's settlement just a little bit down from ours. So ours is all up here. This is somebody else's down here. Um, we will, we'll say goodbye for today, um, but we'll keep an eye on the chat here, so Mackie and Tosh, there you go, that's all we needed. Perfect, we'll get that, and we'll get that sent over your way. Alright, thanks everybody for tuning in, we'll catch you next Friday, and we'll hopefully see everybody around the Discord. Alright, have a good one, and, uh, later! <laughs>